And we're back. I hope that didn't mess up my, uh, my intro, but, uh, I had some technical difficulties. Uh, you didn't miss much, though. I can tell you that. We just ran into this lady. You're all so stupid. What gave you the crazy idea to come onto my turf? Uh... Silence is an acceptable answer, too. Has the cat got your tongue? You've come for a fight. What I've got to say won't change a thing. You're a quick learner. I decide who comes in and who stays out. And anyone who doesn't respect my rules, I punish them. Uh-oh. Is your name Cat? What of it? Maybe we can come to an understanding. Yes. Maybe. My bedroom? Or maybe not. Oh boy. Ooh. That was a cheap shot. Get this joker out of here. He might have a little trouble walking on his own. Eef. Yeesh. Oh. I'm getting careless. I didn't see that coming. If I want to get into this warehouse, I'm going to have to deal with her. Or, hmm. That was a mistake. That was bad. There was this little area over here. It seems just a little too convenient. Oh. Guess that's nothing then. Okay, I thought I was being clever. <laughs> I th should have thought. Hey. Of course I was. No way to treat an omen. Oh, yeah. What could have done so much damage? What am I looking at? Whoa, why, where are you going, camera? Hmm. I doubt they'll let me through again. I can't even talk to them anymore. They know better. Just walk on by yet, guys. Don't mind me. Okay, fine. Let's see what we got. You again. I told you to beat it. No need to get worked up. Why are you so mean all of a sudden? Like I, I know you how you... the warehouse I was looking for because okay, that... owner and I don't now please you can don't put okay, that that's nothing. back in the water you shysters you're crazy you shysters I got to get over that word shysters you shyst and shysters we're no longer at home on our own island calm down it's not worth the effort i told you that flunky that he'll see what a real sailor has Oh, these guys are gone now. Hi. Hey, Mitchell. A drink for our new friend. I owe you. You don't Do have you? to fight, but at least you've got guts. Yeah, aching guts. Huh. I've got them too. But you don't hear me whining like a pooch who's lost its leash. Damn. Even back down. It's something that I respect. So understand by that. If I catch you again, you'll carry a more permanent reminder of our encounter. Tell me, what brings you to Darkwater? She could be a valuable ally. I'm investigating the deaths of the Hawkins family. It's very nice of you to tell me the truth so openly. I trust you. But it's also really stupid of you. You really don't seem to know the area. Let me give you a little advice. I gain nothing by lying to you, really. a day in this rat hole, avoid talking about them to the first people you meet. I've just got a feeling about you. I've got a few questions about the island. I'm not here to give you information. Mitchell will tell you what he wants to tell you. Hmm. Is that more dangerous than having a drink with you? I'm not kidding. The old families, <laughs> they were here long before us. And they'll be here long after we are gone. The old families. The descendants she is very intimidating. I'll give her that. These people truly worship their ancestors. 
I need to get into the Hawkins warehouse. You're out of luck. It's on my turf. It's mm. precisely for that reason that I've come to see you. Are you pulling my leg? Think it over. I've seen what you're capable of. Yeah. And you didn't miss me. I accept the compliment. Well, I see you're serious. To be honest, as long as it doesn't interfere with my business, I don't care. Then why did... But I'll go with you. To make sure you don't stick your nose into things that don't concern you. Sounds honest to me. I'm not finished. Ooh. If I do that for you, if I let you onto our turf to conduct your little affairs, you'll be indebted to me. Oh. I guarantee that I always collect on what I'm owed. Think about it. I help you, you'll owe me a favor in return. Do you accept? I don't think I'm ready to pay the price. As you wish. But I think you'll be back. So that's the easy way, and uh, I don't feel like being indebted to her is a good idea. That's that's that seems like a poor decision on my part. So we're gonna go into this new area. See what's what over here. Round yonder vey. Nothing, nothing. Hello. You saw what happened with those sailors. Don't hang around here unless you want trouble with the bootleggers. It's a little late. I've already met Kat. Well, at least you're still here to talk about it. She must like you. Something like that. With that, please do excuse me, because I'd prefer not to be seen talking with you for too long. I don't mind being liked by Kat. She's a powerful woman. She got connections in this town. This shitty rundown town. Oh boy. What is this? Find hidden items. Spot hidden skill. It looks like there's a way in under this grate. Ugh. That doesn't look sanitary. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure I don't. Do. Okay. Do, 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 do. Spot hidden items, and I'm guessing I don't. Oh. A whale vertebra. If the newspaper clipping in the bar is true, this bone is a real fossil. Okay. Guessing my skill ain't... Oh, what is that? Oh, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. This ratchet device seems to be useful. Okay, there's other pieces of this puzzle. And that little green question mark blinks faster when I get closer to a hidden item. Aha! A handle. It must come from these old winches. Now all I need is a rope, right? Maybe? No. Because I should just have to... Hmm. Maybe that's not telling me that they're how close I'm getting. I think it just means that there's hidden items in the area. I don't know. I should have read that. Oh. Oh, that's disorienting. Okie dokie. What's in here? Can't look in there. I could use this old winch to lift the grating. Mount the handle. Mount the ratchet device. I need more. What am I missing? missing something. It would probably be fit me to sneak in there rather than make a deal with the devil. Just talking my way out seems a lot simpler than having to do her dirty business. Okay. Look for a green glowy. See nothing. I see nothing. I see nothing. I don't. What? What do you? What do you expect me to find here? Exactly. All the pieces are have been in this general area. So. 
I do assume hmm what is that I don't think that's anything let's see let's see let's see crawling around looking for a piece that I have no clue where to find and I wish I had lantern I feel like that would have been convenient oh can I climb over this and go over there over there seems like it might be the way I should go Oh no, I think that's how where I would have came out of okay, I think that's where you come out of if you Okay. Maybe? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I feel like there's a common theme around these kinds of games. Being stuck on simple puzzles. So where would that door come out of? comes out from the warehouse, doesn't it? it? would have to. Yeah, from this building. Which is the warehouse. Hmm. So the hidden piece has to be on the bottom floor somewhere, correct? Perhaps it's more upwards? Was behind something. <gasps> oh my god! That was. Where has this thing been? Are you kidding? I had to push Y to use that the entire time? Oh, that would have been nice to know. There we go. Mount Cogwio. Turn. Looks like everything is in its place. All that's left is to try to turn this hand. You're strong. I believe in you. Damn. I broke it. Really? You were too strong. Well, what now? Wait, was I not the right amount as strong? Why? I really don't want to make a deal with her. I'd rather not. Oh, I don't think I have a choice now. I think I'm. I think I'm fubbernut. I think I'm fucked. Crap. Yeah, I don't think there's. Let's go back to the cap, Captain Fitzroy, and see if uh he can help us maybe. Don't think, don't think, I think, I think I might have fucked up. Hey. You're back again. What can I do for you? Uh. These bootleggers seem unwilling to let anyone approach the warehouses. They're part of the private property I mentioned earlier. And yet the place looks abandoned. Why guard the entrance? As a precaution, I suppose. All the warehouses are more or less interconnected by old sewers. You mean that there's a way to go from one to the other by tunnel? I couldn't tell you if it's still the case today for all the warehouses on the island. But I think I can imagine what you've got in mind. You can always visit them if you're not the claustrophobic type. Told me something that I already figured out. Okay. Okay, okay. Um... I don't think I have any other choice. I got two CP. Let's get our talking skills up. Whoops, I think I fucked up. Yep. 
validate. There we go. Whoops. God damn it. Clues. Nothing. Ah, these are the dead people. She's a young for being a boss of a gang. Whoops. Okay. Whoops. I'm going to be saying whoops a lot. Okay, let's just go back here and double check. That's dumb. Okay, apparently you need the right kind of strength. I was too strong. I was too strong and I broke it somehow. Oh my god. Didn't have the right kind of strength. That doesn't seem right. Well, here we go. I don't have any other choice but to make a deal with her, so... How about you? Can I talk to you now? Nightmares. Can hear things and voices whispering. We'll follow its... You again. What can I get you? What do you know about the Hawkins weapon? If I were you, I wouldn't hang around there. Why not? First off, sailors from around here scream. Scream. That button. That'll be okay, all. I already know that. You already told me all that. Where does that lead exactly? Okay, cat. Hey, Mitchell, a drink. I okay. Huh. You tell blah 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 blah. I'm in. But if I keep. I need to. Here is I. Think I I want to be on it, but I'll go. Stop. I'm not. If I do, and I think. Do I have a choice? Oh, we always have one, detective. Yeah, but I kind of exhausted mine. Follow me. Nobody questions your authority here. Uh, well, I'm just going to stare at your booty this entire time. At least that's some comfort. No, not really. I was given to believe that Fitzroy stood up to you. That dope tried to save face in front of his sailors. They revere their brave captain as they do their old statues. But sooner or later, all statues get buried in bird shit. And nobody cares. Hmm. I like Captain Fitzroy. Don't you talk shit about him. They do nothing to stop you? The local cops? The cops drink like everyone else, sweetheart. They know where their interests lie. Apart from that pig-headed Bradley. I don't know whether to admire his stubborn... Okay, yeah, yeah cut halfway there. He's with me. Oh. Okay. Hi, Buzz. Remember me? She kicked the shit out of me earlier. But that was a fun show, wasn't it? God damn it. Oh, that's where the door would have let out that way. She also doesn't really do me any good because I couldn't unlock this door anyway. Unless it's unlocked now. That's how it's done. Do I still need to hold your hand? Or do you think you'll get by on your own now? Don't overdo it. Good. Yeah. In that case, I'll leave you. I've done enough mothering for now. Oh, jeez. You're just... Wow. Seeming more and more bitchy oh, the this place longer I'm. Fish will do that. What is the connection between this place and the Sarah Okay, Hawkins maybe case? not fish. What the f What? To enter re a reconstruction scene. What? What? Uh. 
What happened here? Interesting. This is, is a weird feature. Who has enough money to buy painkillers, but stays in a place like this? It smells as bad as it looks. I bet. I'm not going to argue with that. Is this one of Sarah Hawkins' paintings? What are you doing? What the fuck? Interesting. What is this college? picture of Charles and Sarah Hawkins doing here? Who is this person? Ugh. I don't think I can can't sleep. I know how that feels. I don't think that's a part of the scene. I think that's actually... If I come out of this, is this gonna... Disappear? Nope. It's still there. Okay. One CP. God, what is this guy's problem? Ugh, what is this? Fish heads. Oh, gross. Guy likes to sleep with fish heads above his head. That's interesting. Ugh, gross. We can't enter the reconstruction thing again. So my medical knowledge was not enough, I guess. So what was the point of that, exactly? No point, maybe? Uh, things are getting spooky. Is that it? Why? I told you to stay away from this warehouse. Uh I think my psychology will probably work better. You seem like a combat officer. We should help each other. You're trying to manipulate me, Mr. Pierce. I hate to be taken for a fool. All right, Inspector Lestrade. Let me take a more direct approach. Can you explain what this painting is doing here? This strange portrait. Wait, I know it. It was in the Hawkins mansion when we came to investigate the fire. So you confirmed. So that someone's been stealing shit. Hmm. I'd like to go and see the mansion. Of course. You want to go back along his trail? <sighs> I'd like to understand how this painting made it to here. Come on. My car is parked down the way. Okay, Andrews, so... Would you please shut the door? And open your eyes, damn it. Now you're all friendly? These people are very bipolar. God damn it. Her again. Oh, boy. This case has nothing to do with you, Baker. Clear the passage or I'll shut you up for obstruction. Officer Bradley... You've finally grown a pair. Too bad you're too fat to see them down there. He Why looks pretty you? lean to me. Come on, keep the smile. You don't want to force me to widen it. Ooh. Okay, I get it. Can we go to the mansion now? I thought I'd straightened you out, mister. I am disappointed. What? But we'll meet again. What the fuck is going on? Mansion. Look behind you, at the top of the ridge. You see the building? Dramatic Man, reveal. Come on, we got some driving to do. Fun, I love driving. Oh yay, long loading screen. Pierce managed to get, the, get into the warehouse. The place thought to be abandoned revealed some surprises. Signs of re recent occupation, as well as a partly charred painting as well as a partly char charred painting 
Inter interrupted in his search by Officer Bradley, Pierce convinced him to join his investigation. The police officer is willing to dri drive the detective to Hawkins Mansion. To the Hawkins Mansion. So did I? Did I convince him to team up? Is that what's happening right now? Did my convince convincing skills work? I don't know. I'm very confused. I'm very shocked and very confused. Here we go. God, your face doesn't look great. It's quite the scar she gave you, dude. You wanna know how I got these scars? I know how you got those scars. Hello, Mr. Breathy Guy. I don't appreciate you breathing so hard while you look at me. Dysfunctional ace detective with a scowl on my face. So I wonder if I hadn't convinced Officer Bradley if Cat uh, would have taken me here. Maybe, maybe not. I don't the place know. Place has been abandoned since the fire. There's only old Winchester in his hut. Don't get that. I prefer to be prepared if there's going to be trouble. This is a big fucking mansion. But apart from old Silas and some rotten floorboards, there's nothing to worry about. You're talking about Winchester. That's right. The Hawkins old caretaker. Strictly speaking, he ain't dangerous. But since the tragedy, he's been a little touched. Though mm. he's a remarkably sturdy man, given his he... age. A true force of nature. Could he be the one who took the painting? If you don't want to listen to my advice, we might as well go, right? I don't believe the fire is the only reason this house is in such a state. It's a very old building, you know? Its foundations would probably date from the arrival of the first settlers. Damn, that is old. It's really that old. Come on, let's leave the stories of the dead alone. Nothing to do with your case anyhow. You don't let's like talking about the past. Unless you still have questions. Your partner, Andrews, warned me against him. You managed to get something out of that bomb? I'll end up asking you for advice. He talks too much. He inferred that old Silas was slightly unhinged. That's not far off the mark, I suppose. But kind of unfair at the same time. You know, Silas Winchester has been working for the Hawkins family as far back as I can remember. Charles was like a son to him. The day of the fire, he lost his whole family. So he's got nowhere to go. Poor guy. And, as you'll see, in a way he's still watching over. Is there anything else you want to ask me? Or do you want to go up there? You're the one who looked after the Hawkins case. Don't think I was trying to hide it. It's just that this discovery shakes my convictions. That's why you're so keen to find out who removed the painting from the mansion. Yes. If something escaped us, or if there's been a law enforcement error, then it's up to the police to make good its mistake. You don't Anything seem like else? very good police officers. Just gonna point, put that out there. Night falls quickly here, and I want to be able to see when we arrive. I'll go with you. If only is this day? Why sure. Not? You can help. Right. Let's go. I don't mind having a little company. Is this really date? I guess that would be the sun right there. I can't really imagine this place getting any darker. Oh, is he following me? No, he's just kind of on his own path. But I would like to check out this. Oh, hello. Angel. 
Bradley was right. This place is much older than 1693. Damn. Couple hundred years. So got it. Got whoa. Where are you going? Is this a? Oh, we're going to Silas. Mm, don't like that bird. Birds are a bad sign. Oh, these are the graves, huh? Poor kid. Oh. Charles Hawkins' grave. Who could have done this? Yeah, someone I seems to have besmirched it. Silas Winchester is still watching over the Hawkins family. I must say, it's pretty gloomy. So, detective, does this place inspire any thoughts? Hmm. Why were they buried here? I was given to believe that it was Charles Hawkins' wish. Strange idea. I imagine Webster wasn't too pleased. Mrs. Hawkins' father? It said that he devastated. Let's go hmm. to the mansion. Please give me a minute. I didn't expect to set foot back here after the burial. What kind of deranged individual would defile this sanctuary? Steel All right. painting. I don't see Silas Sick. doing such a thing. Let alone allowing it. Even that broad baker is above that. Lord, have pity on this poor family. You done talking? Okay, I'm gonna look at this now. The flowers on Sarah Hawkins' grave are fresh. Are they? They're very colorless. Guess we're going back now. Can I take the lantern? The lantern seems like it'd be much brighter than my silly little lighter here. I I laid me down and slept. Never good for the Lord sustained me. Oh, it's a passage from the Bible. Okay. Something bad is going to happen to Mr. Bradley. I can feel it. Oh, there was a tree in the way. Who did this? Who would knock down a giant tree in the way? Seems... Ooh. The spooks are starting to raise. Starting to get the spooks now. Atmosphere. Okay, I was gonna explore a little bit more. Way! Hi, Silas. You are trying to force the door, you nosy prick. Easy, sir. All right, put down the axe. You know what we do with rubble like you? We gut them, dump them into the ocean. <laughs> Easy there, Silas. No need to be upset. That's it, Mister Winchester. Lower that axe. Oof. Let's talk calmly. I'll show you how we have it out on dark water. Easy there, bud. Oh. To strength. Eloquence. Put down the axe, and I'll forget that you threatened the cop. Show your badge, cop, and then we can talk. Do I have a badge? See my badge. You're a bad liar, city boy. For the last time. Tell me why you're here. Okay. No, yeah, my no, Jedi mind trick didn't seem to work there. Describes a domestic accident. But Stephen Webster has several reasons to believe that this may not be the case. Webster is as stubborn as an old mule. And I did tell him that we should let the dead rest in peace. He wants to restore the reputation of his daughter. I just need to see where the fire started. The mansion isn't safe. Break your neck as sure as you're trying my patience right now. That's why you barricaded the entrance. That's right. And this door? It's locked. And I make sure it stays that way. I didn't even see that the entrance was barricaded.
No one lives in the mansion, and you don't take care of it anymore. If you have a good reason to be here, I'm listening. There's vermin. I keep an eye out. Vermin. Yeah, that's it. Vermin. Right. Am I one of these this vermin? Is what we're going to do. I go inside, and I promise I'll hunt them. Okay with you? Uh, I'm not sure. If there's nothing else to hear, you can give me that key. Uh, right. Take the key and do what you have to do. Yeah. Go on, man. Just to get rid of you. Let's see what more I can learn from this man. Scared the shit out of me with that axe. Oh, good thing we calmed him down. Good old Silas. I still want to explore, though. What's back here? Some sort of gate. This gate is locked. Hmm. I don't even see a way to open it in the first place. Where am I going? Oh. Oh, this must be si where Silas lives. Judging by the hatchet, I'd say that's a big ol' yep. Why does he have two hatchets? Why does he need so many hatchets? The poor wretch seems to spend the best part of his time isolated from the world. Hmm. Rather spark. I'm very nosy. The caretaker has simple tastes. I know a thing or two about solitude myself. I can relate. I'm a sad sack of shit. Vermin. I mean, that's not Empty really fair, course. but you know. Okay, apparently we're sneaking into the house. Are we? What am, what what was the What was What did I gain by moving that? I can look inside now. I see nothing of j real actual interest. I'm, it's probably for later, I'm guessing, when all this spooky stuff scary stuff happens okay back up to the house we go to unlock the door and hopefully not get murdered by swingy mr. axeman oh shall we enter now that you finish your fun and games with Silas we can perhaps were you just watching him swing an axe at me let's go thanks bro glad you're such a great officer let's get inside let's here take a look inside I'm with you oh great another long loading tree Pearson officer Bradley explored the gardens of the Hawkins mansion the family lies in the graveyard of the property guarded by Silas Winchester, the old caretaker. Still faithful to his employers, keeps watch on the place armed with his axe. That's a lot of commas. Pearson Bradley managed to calm him down, finally get hold of the key to the Hawkins mansion. Oh, finally. They enter the building looking for the scene of the fire. Ooh, there's a spooky shadow over there. I see you. Don't think I don't see you. Follow me. I know the place. That was abrupt. Who let this light on? I will say this game make the dialogue options in this game just make you feel like you're making the wrong decisions all the time. And there's no way of knowing whether or not what you said worked. Um The Last Supper of the Hawkins. What does this tell me? I, do I want to know? Should probably assign some points real quick. Okay. Let's... How many points do I have? Let's do spot hidden. And... Let's bring up our investigation. Or no... What? 
Medicine and occult skills can only be improved by objects discovered in the environment. Oh, interesting. Yeah, let's let's do investigation then. Or maybe I should do psychology. No, we'll, we'll, we'll get our investigation up. Boop, boop. Medicine. What kind of meat is this? Uh, that is a great question. It looks like it's got tentacles on it. Is that some sort of squid? Maybe? Or do I want to know? My medicine skill was higher. What do you this place is not? for the head of the family, Charles Hawkins. Why does he seem angry? The boy was probably here. Smashed his plate on the floor. Ah, he was angry because Charles. Psychology. Sarah Hawkins' plate. Why did she leave it untouched? Something happened at this table. An argument? Seems that way. At least he explained it this time. Hey, Pierre. Hey, Whoa. Again. Working, officer. This dinner table tells us a lot about the Hawkins family life. Well, we don't have all day. The scene of the fire is next door. Ooh. Love the atmosphere. It's getting real. Sarah Hawkins and little Simon. The perfect picture of the middle class family. Middle class? They live in a giant house like this and that's middle class? She's well respected as a painter. Are you sure they're not upper class? Okay, do one more go around around the room. Make sure there aren't any books or stuff around the environment to improve. No, I guess not. Bradley? Bradley, there's spooky ghost lamps. Where'd you go, Bradley? Oh, there you are. I'm gonna go this way, Bradley. What is this? Was Charles Hawkins some kind of explorer? Charles Hawkins poses like an explorer in front of the exotic ruins. It is common knowledge that he wasted away his fortune on expensive trips. What was he looking for? Huh. Interesting. Nothing on the back. Too much but... rubble. I'll find an easier way. None of these books are something I can read? No? Okay. Charles and Sarah's wedding was painted by Sarah herself. Oh, It's... Damn, Thor is angry today. That's a lot, uh, much more of a different atmosphere compared to the other paintings that we've seen of hers. Such as this one, for example. Is that a skull in the bottom right? No, it doesn't look like it. Let's see if I can find something the cops missed. Mm. Let's see if I can find something the cops missed. <laughs> Okie dokie, here we go. Back into the dream world. What the fuck? The child's corpse Aww. didn't get trace. Where are the others? That is, uh, disturbing. They had a fight. Why? Interesting. What is this? I see you. Did Sarah Hawkins lose one of her shoes? How? It was murder! And the fire was meant to cover it all up. Charles Hawkins is not a good man. Is Charles Hawkins a heavy drinker? We already knew that from his bar tab. So that was all the hidden stuff. Is there more here that we're not seeing? Did it stop at the time of the fire? Oh, so now we know the time. OK, 
Okay. We found all the hidden objects, but let's just be thorough here, because dysfunctional ace detective, fox ace detective, does not miss any clues. Ah, see? If the painting I found on the docks really came from here. Charles is alive. Charles is alive, and he took the painting because he is guilty for murdering them. We've solved the case. I can't exit. Okay, there's more here that I'm not seeing. But yeah, it, it seems pretty obvious what's going on here. But the question is, is what was the argument about? Because it doesn't seem like it would just be a as simple as a smashed dinner plate. Did someone escape the fire? We already know this. I've already pieced it all together. Pierce, you don't you don't, you don't need to worry with me behind your Blood. brain. This lamp was thrown. This was no accident. Ooh. This was a fight. That was loud. Desperate attempt to flee. It's getting scary. Boy. So, detective, what do you make of it? I firmly believe this fire was more than just an accident. <laughs> What's your theory? Passion? Passion? No. I think the Hawkins couple got into a fight. You sure of that? There's only one way to be sure. So eventually we're going to get separated by falling into a hole, right? Hey Bradley, you're my rock, Bradley. I appreciate you, Bradley. I can always count on you to be there when I need you. Books, books, books. Oop. No, that's just an open book. Anything that will increase my knowledge of the occult of medicine. I can only use books for that. Books, books, books. Whoa! That was... Whoa! What is this door? This Ooh. door is locked. I, I gathered that when you couldn't open it. Don't worry. I had a complete deal... Uh, Dumbass. Ooh. <gasps> More medicine. The collection of medical knowledge and health practices in the 18th century. Actually. Damn. Actually, it only covers the so called civilized countries. It does not deal with the influences of. Is that an eye before the L? I can't see from this far. Holist yep. Holistic medicines of, or medicines from continents considered inferior. Okay. Medicine progression. Okay, so I didn't immediately level up my medicine. Interesting. But I got CP to spend, so. So you gotta find a lot of books to upgrade your medicine. Oh. Okay, apparently you can't have that out for an extended period of time. It's interesting to know. These bandages are covered in dried blood. The same bandages that I saw in the warehouse on the docks. And given the blood stains, I'd also say that it's the same person. Charles, what did you do? Brad 
Bradley! He got separated from Bradley. I don't know where he went. The lyrics of the drunken sailor. The sea shanty. Can't go upstairs. Okay. So Bradley had to have gone this way. An original edition of Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. Dated 1818. Ooh. A classic. Well, those lightning effects are cool. That was creepy. Hi, right, Bradley. Hmm. Moby Dick, Melville's classic. The epic battle between man and whale. What a mandatory reading for any whaler, I guess. Well, okay, I, I put that in my pocket for some reason. I now have that. This piano is in disrepair. Looks like the Hawkins kept it more for decoration than for music. So the fire was only in one room? Interesting. This is a pretty secluded place. How did the fire get put out? Uh, I guess uh, Silas probably did it. Book. A book on the first inhabitants of the island. It seems they got here around the 14th century. A human body comparative analysis. A precise and very detailed treaty on the particularities of the human body compared to the animal world. The simplicity of its writing and the vulgarization of its vocabulary make it accessible to the profane. Yay! More medicine knowledge. Let's talk to Bradley. Bradley, you find anything, Bradley? What do you know about Charles Hawkins' activities? Well, not much, to be honest. We all assumed the Hawkins lived on Charles's inheritance. That says a lot. Why are all these lamps so spooky? Books, books, books. The Dark book. water history. This place was settled back in 1692 by two families that seceded from the New England colonies. Interesting. A book on hunting whales, the island's staple diet last century. I feel like this is the way to go, because the lamps are leading me this direction, pretty much. Ooh, that's... Creepy. One of Sarah Hawkins' paintings. Her style sure is recognizable. So he found something, and it drove Sarah crazy. 20,000 leagues under the sea. Rare edition of the Jules Verne's novel. The mysteries of the deep. Another book in my pocket. Can't, not even got an attempt to open that door, apparently. That door's not worth my time. One of Sarah Hawkins' okay. papers. The style sure is recognizable. Indeed, indeed. Greek mythology. Hecate, goddess of the dead, daughter of Tartarus, and mother of Scylla. Oh, we're upset. We're uh, over here now. What could Sarah have done to make this person threaten to call the police? Dear sir, as you know, I have always held you and your family in high respect. Unfortunately, I can no longer continue to close my eyes on the behavior of your wife. Last week, she again terrified my clientele. I know that she means no harm, but you should place her in the care of Dr. Fuller. Fuller. He alone seems to be able to make 
seemed to make her come to her senses. If these <coughs> if these disturbances were to occur, believe me that although it would be it would feel like torture, I would be obliged to involve the police. Respectfully yours, Anton Willard. Complaint. Interesting. Who is Anton? Anton, where are you? Anyway, guys, uh, I think that's about all the time I have for this part. If you like the video, please leave a like. If you want to see more spooky, scary stuff and action stuff and comedy stuff and all of the emotions, subscribe. But otherwise, guys, this is your favorite Green Fox signing off with a spooky picture. See ya!